My fault, my fault. Whole lot of things going on right now. Um, where was I? Um, but so yeah, the, the you know constantly just insults and insults and shame and insults and shame and insults and shame of just things in the past, things in the past, and she she brought up you know. You know, when you when you went to youth build of Louisville, I was really happy. I was like, you can't be too happy if you was no, you was really not caring to take me or help me get there, and you know, put yourself in a position where I could honestly give it back to you, or or you know, pay it in full, so to speak. You don't you fail to tell people that. You tell people. I was late, it, oh, or no, let me say this. So right after I said that, she was like, but you you were getting high and you were getting, you were getting drunk. I was just like, <laughs> back to the same tactics of just shame and insults and guilt. Just back to that same, same shame and insults and guilt. Same insults and guilt, same insults, guilt, same insults, guilt. And that's why I, and I told her again, I was like, this is, <laughs> this is once again, you, you, ne you negating the fact of your actions and, and what you've did and what you've done yet again. Like it don't, it don't make no sense. And she brought up again, oh, well, I want to, I want to come, I want to come back to my home. I, I want to come back to home and 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 uh uh, uh rest because i need to rest where i just go i was just like surely stop acting like i'm going to as soon as you get through the door and try to do something to you or try to get in your face no that's what you do everything that you said that i've done to you you are you are literally talking about yourself and that's what you tell people you tell people i i get in your face i don't do this and she was like well uh uh you don't talk to me. You don't talk to me. I'm like, there's no talking to you. You talk. You talk at me. You don't talk to me. You don't. There's no talking with you. There's no conversation with conversation with you. There's there is none. You you literally in the midst of a conversation will go on another tangent about something else that's then triggered you because I because 40 minutes ago inside the conversation I said something about me wanting to do this and not do that and, and she, she replied with you always you've always not you've always said no to what i want you to do you've always said no i want you to do i was like no i actually i haven't anytime i say no to your idea of what you want me to do is because i feel uncomfortable in that matter meaning you're going to sub you're going to sabotage it in some way or fashion because once again it's not about it's not about you giving me suggestions or solutions to my problems it's about the solution that you give me gives you ultimate control over my decisions through that process or whatever have you that that is the bottom bottom line it's not a it's it has nothing to do with it and you hardly ever give me a solution that i can i can do it's basically a backhand statement when i come to you with a problem you're like oh we'll do this do that and when i do it and it doesn't go right instead of you being like oh i'm sorry uh, i didn't see that coming you say well that's your fault Or when I when I try to tell you a problem or something like that, you turn around and you say you deliberately say, "Well, that is your fault." Well, hold on, wait a minute. The only reason why I'm in this position is because I I followed what you said. Hell, my sister, my sister, literally, not too long ago was telling me about this. You was telling me about the same exact thing, and I and I told her I was just like, "You can't, you can't fully." go off of what she says when she's trying to help you because it's not because once again it's not about the solution itself right it's not about the solution to yourself she she 
the, the, the logical solution that she would give you to a problem that you have, right? Anybody can do it. Anybody can say that, right? But it's the after the fact. It's it's the after the fact that, all right, I didn't said what you did. Now I'm in a worse position. Can you help me out? Or, you know, you did put me in this position. You do have some form of responsibility. Where's your accountability of it? And she will blatantly go off and say, no, I don't have no accountability of that. That is your fault. You should have listened to me more. And that that is the that is the exact rhetoric she would say. And after after telling her this and yeah, what I just said, I told her that she goes on. She goes on to talk about uh, uh, back to get in the room or whatever have you. Back to get in the room or whatever have you. I'm just like, I don't know what. No, I don't. I don't want you to to help me. I don't because I don't want to turn around and you use it as a weapon. She was like, well, what do you what do you mean? What are you talking about using as a weapon? Anything and everything that you done for me. Hell, even the phone that I'm recording on now, it was a birthday gift. Three, three or four or er, earlier last week, you were hollering about, oh, I bought you that phone. I got you that phone. I was just like, wow. So you don't even remember the conversation I had with you when I didn't want this phone. I already had a phone. My dad had actually bought me a brand new phone, brand spanking. I'm talking about not even a week old. And you, you go out of state and buy me a phone that's on contract and you're buying it. And I told you on my birthday, I, I, I told me on my 29th birthday, I did. I don't want this phone. I just got a phone. Dad just bought me a phone. Well, now you got two phones. OK, so I don't want this phone because you're going to turn around and use it against me. Earlier last week, she she blatantly says, "Oh well, I I bought you the phone. I pay for your bill. You don't give me no 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 payback on that bill." I'm just like, "Wait a minute, hold on. First and foremost, if you want the phone back, you can have the phone back." No, nah, I don't want the phone back. I don't want the phone back. So once again, it's not about. me having the phone and me being happy that my mother got me a phone another one it's about control because no one goes out their way to give them a gift just to turn around and say well i bought it for you and feel entitled to say well i bought it for you and you don't pay anything on my bill you don't pay anything on the bill when i didn't need it i didn't want it i already had one phone why are you going out the way and buying another phone but I brought that I brought that up conversation up too. And I was just like, there's no talking to you. You literally sat there for a, at least an hour and some change while I'm laying down with the headphones in my ear, watching videos, while researching and doing some other stuff on my phone. And I didn't say not one word to you. Oh, well, you you think you let me tell you what uh, uh, you think that uh, 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 the life should I should live, and I was just like, okay, let, let's hear this. You think that uh, 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 you don't want me to, uh, you want to talk to me whenever it's convenient, but I shouldn't have to talk to you. And I'm just like, no, I I really don't say a lot to you for the simple fact that anything and everything I say could be used against me or weaponized or gaslit or anything of that nature or any any negative in, intention that she wants or yeah anything negative she wants to spin it off as she, she can and will and i was just like no there's no talking to you there's none there's no there's no talking to you you just talk at me, talk at me, talk at me. You think that's okay. Then you go out in the world and you say something completely opposite. And then when I go out in the world and tell what would really happen, what goes on in reality, people say, no, that's not, that's not real. That's not reality. And that's gaslighting, if you didn't know. And I was like, that, that's not, once again, you're, you're playing the victim. You're 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 no different than the than the white Karen who who clutches up pearls in in an elevator with a black man. You are you are literally no different. You are literally no different. 
I told her that because for for you to even much the words oh well when you were when you were 13 you were like 250 pounds and I was 150 pounds yeah she says this and you were 150 pounds and you were threatening me I was like surely that's a bold-faced lie I had to sleep with knives under my pillow because you would stand at the doorway with a knife a butcher knife in your hand my room would be completely dark and you would open it. You would slowly open the door to my room. And you would just stand there. You thought I was asleep, but actually I was awake. And you would you would just stand there. Or you would you would slowly walk in my room and I would wake up startled as fuck. And you're and you're trying to creep you're trying to creep in the corner and sit there in the corner and be like, what the hell are you doing? No, no, I didn't do that. I didn't do that once again. You're negating your accountability and your and, and your responsibility and your actions that, that you have placed upon you you placed upon my life. Like I I'm I'm sorry, but like that is the reality of it. You you said things, you've done things to me that like has has deeply rootedly scarred me. Right? And oh well, well what about well, what what about uh, uh, the time your dad didn't take you to school? Back to but once again, he ain't got shit to do with this. Back again, once again, you you find any another way to run away from your actions and your responsibilities. <laughs> no, I'm not. You run away from your responsibilities. You run away from your responsibilities. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's like. We're grown. They're, you're the one that's still playing the blame game. I, I'm taking my responsibility for things I've done. I, I take full responsibility and accountability for things I've done. I know when to say sorry, and I know when the things to be proud of. And there's things I, 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 I'm proud of, and there's things I'm not proud of. <laughs> but when it comes to reality, there's things I have to do no matter what. And so doing this video and doing more more videos like this, I'm I, I'm gonna have to find pride in doing this. This is what I want to do. <laughs> cause, cause like I said before, if I don't if I don't record it, if I don't share it right when it's fresh and right when it's new, no one's gonna believe it. No one. No one's gonna. No one's gonna say you know. Um, you know, that's not real. That's not reality when it, when it really is and it's gaslighting. And it, and it gaslighting, it's gaslighting, and it's manipulation to the to the tenth degree, to the to the tenth degree. And to make it to top it all off, I'm just about to get an apartment too. Uh, I've, I've worked up enough crumbs and someone's going to work with me to to uh, live in this apartment to um, well anyways but they're going to they're going to let me stay there rent's low um, find a job out in that area but I just had to I have to share these things with somebody because no one, no one, no one believes it. No one ever believes it. And in my message to the internet is that men are victims too. No matter what age they are, no matter what race they are, men, men are victims too. And I, I share these thoughts and I share this stuff to bring awareness. I don't do this to expose somebody. If anything, I'm exposing myself of my flaws I'm exposing myself and my vulnerability. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm exposing me, for me, for being me. And 
and it's just, it, I find it just so irritating and sickening because I don't, I don't understand how people, how people will up and believe just a, just a woman because she's a mother to never be abusive emotionally physically mentally psychologically it's just it's just oh no we don't we don't like to think like that but that that that's that's when you get people with mental illnesses with severe mental illnesses when you when you do stuff like this and then the world turns around and and not give them any type of voice especially black girls and black boys especially black girls and black boys they just up and oh well you know that's your mom like everybody even still even still to till this day even to this day my family is like well you know that's your mom okay what are we gonna do about it because that's your sister that's your aunt oh well that's that's kind of on you all right bet bet cool so when i so when i so when i handle it on my own and i do these things on my own Dude, don't come to run to me. Well, why'd you do that? Why'd you do it? You should have been in a mix. You wasn't in the mix. So, what you want me? What you want? What you want? What you trying to do? You can get mad. You can get upset all you want to. But I try to address this with with a with politeness. Try to address try to address this stuff with kindness. Try to address this with 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 uh, uh, diplomacy, right? Try to be a diplomatic about this. And I got shunned. I got shunned, annoyed, annoyed. I got I got ridiculed. Um, I got it left on my own, and I've been had to handle this this type of situations literally since I was a teenager. Literally since my mom since my mom left my dad. And even till this day, even till this day, I still don't, still don't get the, 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 the validation of my feelings, the validation of, of even hell at this point of my existence. Cause it's no matter, no matter what the end result is, I'm the villain. I'm the bad guy. She could holler and scream in the middle of the street, hurting trying to get her back into the house gracefully gently and i'm still the fucking bad person i don't know this video is pretty long i've said too much i'll worry out